strangest thing. When I reached out, my dagger was gone. Just gone. Know where I found it? In a barrel. The thing was filled to the brim with daggers. Got the strangest feeling. I know someone took it right off my belt, but I can't re Inquisitor, I've found where the Red Templars come from. They're in full redoubt. The knights were fed Red Lyrium until they turned into monsters. Samson took over after their corruption was complete. How do you know Samson? He was a Templar in Kirkwall, until he was expelled from the Order. I knew he was an addict, but this... Red Lyrium is nothing like the Lyrium given by the Chantry. Its power comes with a terrible madness. The Red Templars swarming Haven were proof enough. We cannot allow them to gain strength. The Red Templars still require Lyrium. If we find their source, we can weaken them and their leader. I like finding the Red Templars' vulnerabilities before fighting them head-on. We'll need every advantage against what courses through their veins. Caravans of Red Lyrium are being smuggled along trade roads. Investigating them could lead to where it's being mined. If you confront them, be wary. Anything connected to Samson will be well guarded. First, a full wheel of Antivan smart cheese, and now three royals worth of crushed mint. They were right here. I remember seeing someone take them. I just... I can't recall their face. There's no end of it. I can store an army. The order was sent? This morning.
All right. Inquisitor. Skyhold does seem more secure than Haven. Only if we have the numbers to defend it. A place like this serves no purpose without enough people to make the running worthwhile. Fertile ground even here. This hold has everything. Inquisitor, Elan Vimal. Honored to represent the College of Herbalists and offer my services as apothecary. I intend to carry on the work of my esteemed colleague, Adan. He thought highly of you. You will be missed. I look forward to working with you. And are you? I wasn't sure what to think of you people, but recent events have put those doubts to bed. All the mundane needs of Skyhold will be well tended. If you note anything special, let me know. I'm here to serve the cause we must. Ah, Inquisitor. You have finally come into your own. The Maker has put you on a difficult path. I pray you walk it safely. I remember our talk out there before we found Skyhold. It wasn't just the Maker who put me on this path, was it? The Inquisitor could never have been Cassandra, or Leliana, or me for that matter. We are too political, too tied to the Chantry and all its failings. But I did not make you stand against Corypheus. I did not make you risk death to save the people of Haven. Only you could be the Inquisitor. I only pray the power of the Inquisition is enough. If the power of the Inquisition isn't enough, we're all in a great deal of trouble. It may seem overwhelming now, but you have already done more than most could have. The Maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corypheus. You have the faith and support of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? Can you tell me anything about Corypheus? I know nothing of the man personally, but the chant of light speaks of what he claims to be. No matter all their power, their triumphs, the mage lords of the winter were men and doomed to die. Then a voice whispered within their hearts, Shall you surrender your power to time like the beasts of the fields? You are the lords of the earth. Go forth to claim the empty throne of heaven and be gods. That was one of the old gods speaking in their dreams? Yes. You met as I understand it. In secret, they worked magic upon magic. All their power and all their vanity they turned against the veil until at last it gave way. That sounds like what happened with the breach. Very similar, Inquisitor. Above them, a river of light. Before them, the throne of heaven waiting. Beneath their feet, the footprints of the Maker. And all around them echoed a vast silence. But when they took a single step toward the empty throne, a great voice cried out. ...shaking the very foundations of heaven and earth. Corypheus said he found only chaos and corruption. The Chant of Light... ...says that it was beautiful until the Maker himself spoke. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. 
You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Corypheus seemed so certain that he heard nothing. He described it as dead whispers. Bitterness, perhaps? He paid a high price for his crime. Violently were they cast down, for no mortal may walk bodily in the realm of dreams, bearing the mark of their crime. Walking bodily in the realm of dreams is exactly what Corypheus said he did. But the mark, could it be related to the mark I bear? I cannot say. Perhaps Andraste saw clearly and we misinterpreted her words. It was always taught that the mark they bore was the shape of Dark's bone. Bodies so maimed and distorted that none should see them and know them for men. That is all I know of your adversary, Inquisitor. That's nothing but myth and legend. Myth and legend that matches at least some of what your adversary himself said. You want a literal truth, and I cannot fault you for it. I would as well if I faced such a foe. A century from now, your own story may be another verse. And who knows how much truth it will hold. Still, I would trust these worlds over any spoken by Corypheus. I hope they help you. Inquisitor? Well, how about that? 